Gang, what is up? We are in Miami, which is so, so sick. And I'm here for the Grand Prix, so I'm creating content at the Grand Prix this weekend. And due to a bit of jet lag, I decided that it would be a good time to, yeah, get out, explore around the hotel. It is absolutely gorgeous. I've come from wearing a hoodie and a coat to wearing t-shirt and shorts at, it's now 8 a.m. and I am sweating. So that is, yeah, absolutely wicked. So let's go explore. for you guys um, if you're really sweaty accidentally touch your lens and then all of your photos start looking like a cine bloom filter <laughs> I, uh, I was wondering what is going on with my camera like why are we images looking like this uh, yeah I've just got a fat paw print all over it so the only thing I've got to clean it with is this sweaty vest so <laughs> cine bloom it is we are back and I made the rookie error where I got up started taking some photos and forgot to form up my memory card so I've only got a few hundred photos left that I can take for the day and I took some what I think are some potential bangers this morning so I am going to have to format this card take the L because Fuji app sucks um, and yeah let's hope that we're going from good to great <laughs> let's go <laughs> Dreaded day has come. My X100V has partially broken in here. The little uh, EVF, OVF shutter slider thing that allows you to go between being an electrical viewfinder and an optical viewfinder. It's stuck halfway up. So I can only see about half of my image uh, through the EVF. And on, on the rangefinder, it's also pretty buggered because, I mean, half it's closed up. So, yeah. I don't really know what to do. Dang, managed to, managed to fix it, I think. Um, what I did was I turned it off, took the battery off, and then slapped my camera upside down until the little plate inside here um, closed up. So now I can see again, which is, uh, I'm honestly so gassed to be able to take photos again. Let's get it. Composing your frame. It's very easy to think, okay, this is my subject, I'm just gonna shoot them. But I always find that taking a short moment to think what is behind the subject is so 
useful to helping create a better photo because what you're trying to do is you're trying to bring your subject out you're trying to make it so obvious what the audience needs to and should look at and so by thinking okay my subject is a person in a white t-shirt I don't want to have them placed against a white wall why because there's not very much contrast between them and so your subject very easily gets lost. Alternatively, there could be a very busy background and it may be very difficult to tell what the subject actually is. So the more you're able to think about what your subject is and what's behind them, the more you're able to bring them out in your photos and make them significantly more interesting and easier to look at. to a new city I always like to try and understand the vibe and just the culture of the area because that then will influence what you take photos of what is then interesting so for example here in Miami there's a massive beach culture which then is kind of not necessarily facilitates but that then encourages a fitness culture because everyone wants to look good for the beach and so you only start to really observe and notice things about a new city by taking time to just chill. And so it feels very counterintuitive to sit outside without your camera and to just eat and just look at people, to see how people interact with each other. Is there a common thread that these individuals all kind of possess? One thing that I quite like to do is try to capture an image where people go, that is exactly like X. And so to be able to capture an image where people's like, that is Miami, that feels like what it feels like to be in Miami. That can then help <laughs> show people who haven't been to Miami what it's like. And to be able to do that, you have to be observing. You have to just see objectively or as close to objectively as possible as to what the city is like. I want to preface this with I am in no way an expert at this. But it's important to think about, okay, once I've understood a vibe, how can I use that to tell a better story? And so it could be, let's use the fitness space in Miami as an example. You could shoot photos that show Miami as a fitness spot. Everyone's in their sports kit, everyone's doing fitness stuff like running and biking and roller skating. That, easy, cool. Now it could be, how do you set the foundations for that? You could have the, taking a photo of an empty gym that's on the beach where the weather is really nice. And you could also do something that is counter to that narrative. You could have a photo or a video of someone who is very overweight outside the gym. Or you could have someone who's in fitness kit outside a McDonald's or a fast food joint. And by thinking about all these different ways at which you could tell the story or tell the opposite story or tell what kind of allows this vibe to be, <laughs> I guess, there, that then allows you to tell better stories. That then allows people to understand the context at which you are taking the photo and the context at which the, the environment that you're in. And so the more you start thinking about this, that then makes you see subjects that aren't necessarily immediately obvious. And then that allows you to start telling a better story.